Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to talk about the Sonoff or EVLink advanced plan and this is something that has been introduced probably a few months now and I would like to make some videos where I talk about things that you can do in IFTTT and nowadays if you want to use IFTTT in EVLink you have to have an advanced plan so I just wanted to get this out just to explain what it is and then hopefully if you look at some of my videos that are coming in the future for certain topics and when I talk about IFTTT at least you would be able to tell if this is something worth for you to pay as you can see it's uh, 990 US per year and actually let me pull up the EVLink application and if you click on the profile button on the lower right then you can see your profile and a couple of months ago there was no such thing as you know free plan and advanced plan and with one of the EVLink application upgrade everyone was migrated into the free plan which gives you a lot of different things and IT has introduced two additional plans that you can choose from so if you look at the subscription plans with the free plan you are getting quite a lot anyway so you know the number of homes that are supported in your account the number of rooms the devices scenes groups and then you know device shares per quarter unless you have a property portfolio i'm guessing you know these limitations are not something that are you are likely to reach probably the only thing which really stands out is the IFTTT. So with the advanced plan, you are obviously getting more support for devices, homes, rooms, and scenes, but the additional features that you are getting is the IFTTT and the EVLink web, and that's what I'm going to talk about now. And if you follow my channel, I have done EVLink IFTTT integration probably two years ago, where I have gone through some of the scenarios, how you can use the IFTTT with EVLink, and how you can do things that you can't do in the standard EVLink application. Well, a lot has happened since. Well, first of all, is that if you are a free user, you don't have access to IFTTT. But also just before this advanced plan started to be rolled out, there has been a major update to the IFTTT capabilities, which I have actually covered in this video. So there has been a lot of additional functions that you can do. And then some of them are also listed here a little bit later so besides obviously controlling devices like you know switches and lights there are a lot of features that are supported in IFTTT that are not supported in the EVLink automation in the scenes so for example if you have watched my recent video on the LED light bulbs you can turn on or you can turn off the light bulbs but you can't control the brightness and the color temperature from the automation or for example if you have a POW you can't set up a trigger based on the power consumption of the POW. So again, these are the things that I would have liked and I have a couple of ideas how you can use this scenario. But now all these features are migrated over or all these features are available in the IFTTT only, which you can only access if you subscribe to the advanced plan. So this could be a move from IT just to move people over to the advanced plan and also they get some revenue from the subscription model. Obviously they probably you know, pay license fees for IFTTT in order to keep the integration alive. If you want to understand a little bit better what are the new things that are available in the IFTTT, you can watch the video that I have done. I mean, in that video, I have just gone through the new features. I haven't created any integration. And it was a funny short period of time when the new IFTTT functions were available, but it, the IFTTT itself was still available in the free plan. And that now has been moved to the advanced. And as I said, I'm planning to do some future videos. Probably the first one is going to be the light bulbs, where I go through scenarios that you would likely to use and then scenarios that you can only use with IFTTT. So that's the, that's the IFTTT integration. And I think this is probably the most important, you know, additional feature in the advanced plan uh, that would make you subscribe to that plan. And as you can see from this subscription plan, the second new feature which is only available in advance is the EVLink web. And the EVLink web is like a web interface for your Sonoff devices. And this basically gives you another interface where you can control your Sonoff devices. I think this is still under development at the moment. There are a lot of things that are available here, but there are a lot of things that are not available here. I think the idea would be that you still use the EVLink application to set up your devices and then you configure the scenes and then make the, you know, the special settings yeah, like the schedules. 
but if for any reason you can't reach your phone and you just quickly want to you know switch on a light then you can just come to the evlink web so it is web.evlink.cc and you use the exact same credentials that you use on your phone so your phone number or your email address and your password and you are able to see your devices and as i said it's not up to the same functionality as the mobile application for example you can see here that the zigbee devices are not supported yet but i have a couple of other devices that are connected at the moment and as you can see i can control my 4ch and my 4ch pro and if you remember the 4ch pro is set up to an interlock mode so if i turn on channel 3 then channel 2 automatically turns off so the you know the behavior is as how you would expect and how you had seen in the evlink application but the the features that you are getting in the web or at least at the moment are just you know basic operations you don't have access to the settings you can't set a schedule but you can turn your lights on and off and i'm not saying this is an absolutely must and a killer feature but in many cases if you are already working on the computer i guess it will be just easier to log on to a website rather than you know look for your phone and then unlock it and find the evlink application just turn on one of your light from your mobile so I definitely welcome this functionality and I think it looks great. And as you can see, the, uh, the functions are fairly limited at the moment. You can view your devices, you can filter them by different rooms, and you also have an option here just to hide all the unsupported on the offline devices. So it just makes your view a lot more simpler and you're only just going to see what you can control at the moment. And yeah, it works. As you can see, the Zigbee Basic is supported, but some of the other Zigbee devices are not. So it's not about Zigbee, it's just like some type of sensors that are not supported at the moment. But still, I think it's a good platform and most probably there would be more development spent on this. So we would see additional support and additional functionality added to this web interface. And there is one caveat with this advanced plan and actually this caveat is more on the IFTTT side because as IT started to introduce its paid plan for the EVLink application, IFTTT also started to introduce its paid plan for IFTTT. So as you can see, there is now a standard plan and there is a pro plan. And there are two main differences, well, at least two main takeaways for me. What is it that you are getting with a pro plan? First of all, you are getting access to this pro composer which gives you all these advanced tools so your recipes can have multiple steps you have conditional logic and queries and filters and multiple actions so for example if you look at this example i mean previously the in the standard ifttt you have a condition a trigger and then you have an action so one condition and one action which is to some extent it's even more limiting than the scenes because at least in the scenes you still have just two steps the trigger and the action but in the trigger you can have multiple conditions and in the action you can also have multiple conditions and i've used that in the past in some of my videos but with this pro editor as you can see you can create a scene or recipe like if my door is locked and if it's after sunset and you know there is some additional logic then turn on the lights so that's definitely an advantage and I think there are a couple of use cases where this could be really, really useful. But the other big thing is that in the past you had access to unlimited number of applets that you can create, but now it is only limited to three. So if you want to create something, you know, brand new that nobody else has created, and actually that would be, you know, one of your three available custom applets. So there are still a lot of... Uh, applets around that somebody has created and it actually works with evlink so there is a good chance that you would be able to find things that is already available and you can just enable them and then customize them so for example uh, just i have this one here and that is that hasn't come from the you know the custom one because the custom my custom one is a slightly different one so for example if i do explore and I want to see what is what are the different recipes available that are with evlink as you can see there are a few different ones so if you want an email notification then you have it you know an evlink so if you if you receive an email maybe you you know turn on a light so that is some something which is already created so you can use that so if I want to use this functionality let's say okay I want uh, this to be enabled for my account then I click on connect so it's going to connect to my gmail account 
and if I received an email to my Gmail account then for example I want to turn on my Zigbee basic just to give me an indication that I've received an email and I probably need to check it and probably there will be quite a few of these available so let me save that now it's connected okay so if I go back to my home now we should be able to see that okay so this is the evening switch that oh sorry that's the notification action that I have just uh, enabled for my account and this is one of the you know the already used already created account so this is not something that I've created for myself so I had one I still have two more left uh, out of the free which is a lot for the free account so yeah I think you can go around with it but if you really want to get the benefits of IFTTT unfortunately it looks like that first of all you have to you know pay EV link for the advanced plan and you most probably also need to consider paying IFTTT for the pro plan so it's not going to be just 990 per year but the pro plan for IFTTT so it's almost 50 US per year or actually only 40 if you commit for an entire year so just you know keep this in mind because that will likely end up being your total budget if you really want to get the full out of this integration so this is what I wanted to highlight in this video if you want to upgrade your IFTTT you just need to log in and there is this big button here on the top and if you want to upgrade your evlink you need to go to this vip.evlink.cc and here you need to upgrade so you put your evlink account id so the email address of your account and then when you click on upgrade now you will be taken to a next page where you can pay in the 990 by credit card or with paypal and just keep in mind that it is not going to be immediate you will receive an email that the payment has been received and i have received an additional email the following day saying that my subscription has been activated so just keep in mind it doesn't happen immediate but once you have done that if you have used IFTTT in the past then you probably noticed that IFTTT was sending you reminders that the EV link integration is no longer working because while well, you were in the free plan so now you just need to go into IFTTT again and just sort of like reactivate your account and it's going to work so there will be no issues with that so that's the whole story about IFTTT and EV link and the advanced plan and the IFTTT pro plan so keep this in mind as I said I will try to create some contents where I talk about IFTTT recipes and things that I think can only be done in IFTTT and if you watch those you can probably make up your mind if this is something that you need is it something that you are willing to pay well either only the 990 or you potentially also have to fork out an additional 40 US for the IFTTT Pro but I think that would be all for now thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video